Shout out to uh, Hot New Hip Hop for the article. We got to talk about this, y'all. Fulio offered fans the address to his birthday party where he was tragically unalived, y'all. Yes, this is a rapper, guys, that just got pow, pow, bang, bang, okay? Another rapper out here, you know, dissing, uh, you know, the deceased and out here banging. And, you know, it, it is what it is, man. Another young cat, too. I think he was only 26. It says, social media coverage saw Fulio update fans on what was happening with his Airbnb pool party and where folks moved afterward. OK, it says uh, Fulio tragically passed away on uh, at age 26 in Tampa, Florida, early Sunday, Ju uh, June 23rd, following a pow, pow, bang, bang at his continued birthday celebrations. Uh, moreover, he has shared his uh, address, his location, his drop, um, his low, okay, via his Instagram stories that he was sending the address to people, DMing him and ask folks to reach out if they pull, wanted to pull up. That's crazy. You should know better than that, man. You know you got ops, you know? Uh, of course, this move is facing a lot of criticism, scrutiny, and saddened reevaluation in the wake of his uh, tragedy. The Jacksonville rapper had promoted his pool party a lot online. And when police said that there were too many people inside his Airbnb, he moved to a Holiday Inn and let fans know as well. And that was where unknown perpetrators at press time ambushed him in a pow, pow, bang, bang, according to his lawyer, Louis Fusco. OK. Quote, what we have learned in this uh in this early investigation, two cars were pow, pow, bang, bang. Joni Lewis uh, relayed, who is a public information officer for the Tampa Police Department. She says the victim in this uh, morning's pow, pow, bang, bang is believed to be Charles Jones. OK, that's Fulio's real name. Um, wow, this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. Positive identification is pending uh, confirmation from the medical examiner uh, examiner's office at approximately 440 a.m. Tampa police received a 911 call for a uh, pow, pow, bang, bang at 11606 McKinley Drive. The department told double XL confirmation. I mean, confirming the loss of Fulio, uh, quote, a total of four people were uh, injured in the pow, pow, bang, bang. And one person was pronounced uh, deceased. Three other victims were uh, being treated at the hospital, y'all. Okay, so this is academics posting it. It says, Fulio last Instagram stories from uh, last night offering the address to his Airbnb party where he was celebrating his 26th birthday. RIP, man, that's crazy, y'all. Fair use. Hey, the pool party start the day at 5, 6 o'clock. You already got the address. Pull up, man. You got the address. Pull up. If you need the address, DM you right now. Pool party start at five six o'clock. DM me for the address of them Fulio booking ESPN. I'm gonna put it right here. Got me drinking, cuz <laughs> I don't need drink, cuz. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a chaser. Mm -mm. <laughs> we can't do the fuck for my birthday, man. Man, these people crazy, man. Stop showing where you at. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. And that goes for regular people, too. If you don't even have to be a celebrity, man, stop, stop giving everybody, like, access to y'all. You know, I'm one of those people, bro. I post vacation pics that was a month ago, two weeks ago. Y'all would even know that's what that's. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm doing, and that's and that's if I post that. that to be honest with you, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that I would. I'm not even a big social media guy, other than with my blogs and stuff. When it comes to personally, I'm not on social media. I'm just not. I've never been a big social media guy. I never been a big social media guy, you know. Um, this is sad, man. 
This is sad, man. Um, now you, you, we do got to remember this is a self-proclaimed, you know, gang member. Um, he was out here, you know, he was out here making fun of people. Like this is the same guy that was making videos, uh, at people grave sites, y'all dissing, dissing, you know, the unalive. Okay. He was, he was, he was on demon time. Y'all let's be honest here. He was on demon time. All right. So, uh, fair use. All right. Uh, fair use. This is somebody driving down this, uh, driving a, uh, past the uh, scene, the scene of the crime. Okay. I guess this is the car that he was in, y'all. This is sad, man. This is crazy. All right. Yeah, this is somebody driving past the scene of the crime. Multiple cars was pow, pow, bang, bang. Yeah, man. Crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy. I was looking for the uh the clip of the news station talking about it. Um, I was trying to look for that. Um I know T TMZ actually has a, a video of it. Um, I don't know if I want to show that though. TMZ, man, they always at the scene of the crime, y'all. They always at the scene of the crime. Coincidentally, right? They always at the scene of the crime. Um, let me see. Yeah, I can't find it, man. But yeah, the, uh, what wherever it was in Tampa. Oh no, it's right here, y'all. It's right here. It's right here. So fair use, y'all. Fair use. All right. Fair use. All right. We know at this point, around 4.40 this morning, we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. So we are working to learn what led up to the shooting, motive. You can see behind me, a lot of officers are here. They are talking with witnesses. They are looking for video as it pertains to the shooting. Uh, as far as the people that are at local hospitals, we are working to get an update on their condition. It seems like they will survive their injuries. But again, that's very early in the investigation. Uh, those are really the details that I have at this point as we're unfolding and getting updates. I'll take a couple of questions for what I can't say. Excuse me, were these guests at the hotel, do you know, that were staying here with some kind of beef or rivalry? Is that at this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might have been coming here to the hotel to get a room. Can you say anything about um, the, the, the guests that were staying in the hotel? Did they have to be evacuated or they were like, were they told to stay in place after after the incident this morning? Part of the investigation, I don't think so because of what time it happened. At this point, you know, guests are waking up and we're updating them and we are assisting them with anything that they need assistance with at this time. But it didn't happen inside the hotel. It was uh, in the parking lot. And so, do you know how many suspects there were, how many people had guns? Part of the investigation, we're hoping to be able to figure that part out as well as get a description of the suspect so that we can get that information out to you. But I can tell you that there are cameras here and our officers are working to view all of the cameras and talk with people, you know, who might have seen anything or heard anything. And I think that's the biggest thing at this point. You know, we always say it, but in cases like this, it really does make the difference. If you saw something, if you heard something, any little detail can help us figure out what happened here this morning. Yeah, man, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. And y'all know Ch uh, Charleston White got something to say. Charleston White be predicting this stuff, even though it's not hard to predict because these these young cats, man, they out here treating like like acting like life is a game. They acting like this is Grand Theft Auto. They acting like this is a uh, Call of Duty. Like you can just respond. Like you got 
nine lives. You know, this ain't Super Mario. Remember how you got the mushroom and you got the extra lives and stuff? No. This, this is real life, man. This is real life, man. Life is precious. Okay? So shout out to High New Hip Hop for the article, man. It says, uh, Charleston White's uh, insensitive reaction to Fulio's tragic uh, unaliving goes viral. Okay? Um, let's check it out, y'all. Let's check it out, man. Fair use. Fair use. Yo, y'all, they done got that black ass boy. You say they done got that Julio Fulio boy. I told them they would go get him. Yeah, no, nah, but I didn't tell them they would go get him. I just knew they would go get him. Because the boy works hard to get guy. No, nah, no, nah, that nigga work, works hard to get shot on. Man, they shot his foot off last year, give him that pirate nub. Uh, man, that nigga supposed to nigga, nigga got his foot shot off. Ain't supposed to be bouncing around on his birthday. Man, get somewhere and sit down and rest that foot and work your hips, nigga. Nigga probably be fucking. And then I'm thinking, at the holiday end, what the fuck? Man, it's, man, nigga, ain't no protection on a nigga at the holiday end. They ain't got valet parking. <laughs> no, man, shit, no, man. That, man, that's why I go, man, the holiday end. Man, I guess when you got an entourage of niggas rolling around, you can't go get one of them high dollar rooms. <laughs> no. You got to go, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and everybody saying, well, man, what you think about this? Well, uh, all I'm going to say is, man, that nigga works hard to die. Shit, he earned this here. Shit, nigga. Uh, and God damn it. Uh, should nobody be sad? Yeah. Way that nigga lived and talked gangster? Uh... Should nobody be sad what did happen to, to, to Julio Fulio? Uh, one thing we know about it, he didn't go to heaven. That's saying good. What's that? Yeah, now one thing about it, he ain't in heaven. Now, nah, wait, that boy, he listen, he had all the time in the world to apologize to them people. He was going to the graveyard, rapping at the graveyard. Man, that nigga making people mama cry. So she had, it's some people relieved, wiping their forehead, saying, Oh, Lord, thank you. And then there's some people crying, said, Oh, we gonna miss one leg, one foot. Oh, we that's you that, that's what the Indians would call them. The, you know, the Indians give you a name, black foot, uh, light foot. Uh yeah, yeah, the Indians come up with yeah, 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 yeah. Pale skin. Uh yeah, yeah. So you know, we go uh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nigga, one foot. Yeah, they got one foot. And then they know he can't run. Yeah, they know nigga can't sprint with that motherfucking uh platter foot. Yeah, nigga got that platter foot. Nigga can't just take off running and, and pivot and you know, yeah, so they got him. And it ain't funny, but nigga, it ain't no dishonor and death at all. And I'm just saying, uh, if just so happen I die, I give everybody to make fun of me. I give everybody permission right now to make fun of me. Guess what? I ain't gonna hear it. I'm only gonna be fucked up if I heard. <laughs> well, I'll be fucked up, I can die and hear people laughing at me. <laughs> now, y'all know Charleston White is a clout chaser. Um, so he's gonna say what he's gonna say. It is what it is. He's gotten what we what he wanted. He got the clicks, he got the views. We're talking about it. But let's be honest here, y'all. Was he lying? No, he, he wasn't lying, y'all. Um Fulio made fun of a lot of guys that he quote unquote had beef with that were ops and stuff, right? He even went as far as to do shoot music videos at people's grave sites, y'all, and the cemetery, okay? Okay? So that did affect a lot of mothers that lost their children, you know? Um, and he lived that life. He was a gangster, he was a thug. So, I mean, you know. I believe him. You know, I'm, I'm kind of on Charleston White side with this. Now, you know, it is still sad and, you know, still crazy to speak on the unalive, you know, the the deceased, especially after he got deleted. But like, I mean, it is what it is. Isn't that part of the game? Isn't that the life that he lived? He in the streets. You know, he was still he was still banging. This dude literally lost his foot, almost lost his foot. He was in a wheelchair and everything. And he was still talking trash, you know. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know, rest, rest in peace, Fulio. But hey, I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I'm, I'm just kind of just being honest with you guys. It's just a part of, yeah, it's a part of the game.
It's just a part of the game at this point. Now, this would be different if this was some, you know, some kid that was in school, not in trouble, you know, and it's just um, wrong place, wrong time. This guy was a self-proclaimed gangster. This guy was a self-proclaimed uh, stepper. That's what the young kids call him. Uh, he's a stepper. You know what I'm saying? He's a stepper. You know? And it was just his turn to get stepped on. It was his turn to get stepped on. You know? So, rest in peace, Fulio. But, you know, hopefully these, hopefully this is, you know, a sign for these for these young kids to chill, relax. It ain't nothing wrong with being, being in the house. It ain't nothing wrong with playing sports. There ain't nothing wrong with having a job. That's another thing, man. A lot of these dudes want to be rappers. Everybody ain't going to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be in the streets. You ain't got to be no banger, man. Ain't nothing wrong with having a job. UPS pays well. FedEx pays well. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with being a mailman. Ain't nothing wrong with being a plumber. Ain't nothing wrong with being a bus driver. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with working at a warehouse. Whatever the case may be, man. Just so you can come home to your kids. So your mama can, so you can hug your mama again. You know? Because a lot of these people got people that love them. But people that do stuff like this, they don't love themselves. Let's just be honest here. They don't love themselves. There's no reason that you should be in the streets, man, for nothing. I mean, to be honest with you guys, this guy, th this kid got unalived for nothing over street beef. Over he say, she say. You know what I'm saying? And it leads to them pow, pow, bang, banging each other. You know? I've seen that life. I've lived that life. I grew up in the streets. I was raised by the streets. I'm telling you. It, 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 it's, it's one or two places, man. Either unalived or in jail. Okay? Unalived or in jail or the middle one, paralyzed. I don't, I don't want neither one of them. I don't want to be in jail. Okay? Okay? I don't want to be unalived. And I don't want to be somewhere where I can't use my legs. Where I can't feel my neck. Quadriplegic and stuff like that. Because you feel like you was tough. Y'all in the streets, man. And you... Come on, man. Like, it's sad, bro. But I feel like I'm preaching to the choir. All right? That's why I'm preaching. I feel like I'm preaching to the choir. Because it don't seem like it's ever going to stop. It don't seem like it's ever going to stop, man. It's never going to stop. We always say, oh, man, can we get along? Is it going to stop? Is it? No. It just keeps, it honestly, seems like it's getting worse. Because now these kids, they, they banging online. You know? But, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man.